I'm back building Busker again after a break. If you watched uh, the clips that I've put on YouTube up till now, you'll know that this is a diary of building uh, the Busker organ, and it records the vicissitudes of this uh, work. And I've had a short break due to work and other commitments, but uh, part of this project was uh, the learning the self-discipline to get the project achieved, to work in a new uh, manner and a tidier manner than I'm accustomed to doing. And uh, as far as the self-discipline is concerned, well, I'm back at the uh, project and uh, I've learned to uh, do some new jobs with some new tools and I've got myself to do some of the bits that I knew I would find a little bit more difficult and challenging and that uh, means cutting some of the parts neatly and uh, I got stopped with the uh, pressure box and so uh, um, I'm back uh, at work on that now. One of the jobs was to um, attach the packer bar to the pressure box and uh, fit it in. So as shown in a previous clip the tracker bar is now attached to the pressure box screwed in with its uh, sound exit pipes at the base and I've made little adjusters so that I can slide the tracker bar probably five millimeters either side and so uh, that is uh, done another difficult job was cutting perfect circles for the end of my spools which I've done with a compass attachment uh, attached to the Dremel and so here I have two, two ends of the two spools for the uh, main uh, roll of music to uh, wind on to and uh, I've made the drive wheel with uh, a groove around its edge for the for the rubber the rubber grip to uh, sit into the rubber band that will go around the edge of the wheel and drive the main drive which will be on the end of the spool. So those parts have been made. I've got the metalwork left to make for the crank handle. The two side cheeks have been cut in which the main roll will uh, sit and I've made a hole in the lid of the uh, pressure box so that uh, when the music is playing spectators will be able to see the roll with its papers uh, go by and I've got to finish that lid by sealing this piece of uh, plastic uh, in and that's going to be finished with this little bit of framing around the uh, around the edge of the uh, image of the box like this It'll be a square uh, frame to see the exterior and I've finished the frame by cutting a little groove in the back of it again that's all been done on the uh, Dremel and uh, the bellows are still sitting there waiting to be leathered up and uh, the pipes are now all finished you'll see those on the way over so that I can show you the pipes backboard there for the organ with its the sunrise and uh, here you can see the pipes the pipes are finished uh, not uh, glued and varnished but uh, uh, finished with the bases the upper lips and the stoppers it's a bit that'll be cut down maybe the decorative top put on the top but I'm going to blow this pipe for you Sorry, and you'll hear the bass pipe. Not really supposed to blow in these because of the the uh, condensation in the blow can uh, bend the pipes. A bit chiffy that one on the start. So that's the pipes. Uh, that are done. So the main bits of the organ are cut out and uh, assembly will start uh, 
uh, this uh, week and so I'm back in busker business and hope uh, within the next couple of weeks I'll be able to post the first test tunes thanks for watching and please get in touch if you're doing the same thing building your own busker